Okay, so we've been talking about atoms and matter and phases of matter for a while, and so I wanted to do kind of a poster, give you a general overview of what atoms and matter and phases are like, how they're all related, their primary parts, and some important key words to focus on. Please don't talk while I'm teaching, goodness sakes. All right, so first of all, matter is anything that what? Yeah, it has mass and takes up space. So it's anything that has mass and takes up space. So examples of matter might be uh, like a person, our bodies are made of matter, or like a cardboard box that you get from Amazon Prime when it delivers your brand new Xbox One or something like that. Shh, shh, yeah, okay. So that's made of matter. Now remember, there are things, there are real things that aren't made of matter, like our thoughts, okay? And that's not just the chemicals in our minds because we can't like open up our skull and pick out a thought of a Ferrari, you know? But we still actually see in our mind's eye, so to speak, that car. So thoughts are not made of matter. And I'll just put kind of a puffy cloud here. So thoughts are not matter, but thoughts are real because we have them. So just kind of a quick little overview there. All right, now let's talk about atoms and how they are structured. And let me switch up the colors here for a second. Let's go with, uh, shh, I can, I can handle the color choices. Thank you very much. All right. Let's do green, blue, and red. All right, so let's talk about atoms. So let's do a helium atom. So in the middle, we have neutrons, and we have protons. And then on the outside, we have electrons. OK, now electrons, what do you notice about electrons? Smaller yeah, they're way smaller. In fact, electrons are 1,800 times smaller than protons and neutrons. 1,800 times. That's way smaller. Now, this path they take around the nucleus is called the orbit. Okay, so the electrons move around the nucleus, this right in here. This area in here where the protons and neutrons are, that's called the nucleus. And now something else you're going to need to know is the charges of the different particles. So electrons have what kind of a charge? Negative charge? Yeah, electrons are negatively charged. Good. How about protons? What do you think their charge is? Positively charged, yeah, protons are positively charged. Good. And how about neutrons? Um, negative? Not negative. No. no charge or neutral, yeah. So neutrons have no charge or they're neutral. So now these are atoms. These make up every element and they make are parts of every molecule that we can think of. Okay, and the way that we figure out what type uh, of atom something is, is we count the number of protons. When you guys get to the periodic table when you're in high school chemistry or when you get to eighth grade or whenever you get taught it, um, you always count the number of protons. That tells you what kind of element the atom is. If it has one proton, it's a hydrogen atom. If it has two, it's helium. If it has three, it's lithium. Um, so you, you just count the number of protons and that tells you what type of element it is. So that is the atom. Uh, oh, and let me label these electrons out here. The electron. Proton. And the neutron. Cool. Now, atoms change phases. So if we start here uh, at the cold end or low energy and we go all the way uh, up here to high energy or hot, 
So this is the cold side or low energy. And then this side is the hot side or the high energy side. There are four main phases that all molecules and atoms go through. Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. There's also another one way down here called the Bose-Einstein condensate. We've talked about that a tiny little bit. You don't need to worry about that for my test. Frankly, I'm having trouble understanding it myself. So we're not gonna worry about that one. So at the cold end of the spectrum, we have solids. And so if we put solids in a container, Kind of like a say a big cookie jar mm, cookies if we have say ice here we have an ice cube if the room is really really cold let's say this cookie jar is in the freezer what does this ice cube do it nothing it just kind of sits there and stays the same right now here's the thing all atoms all matter is moving a tiny little bit at least it's 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 at least vibrating so when it's in the cold, uh, cold region here, when it's a solid, it vibrates and it stays the same shape. Okay, so it's not gonna like all of a sudden start flowing or anything like that. It's just gonna kind of sit there and vibrate. So if you guys are solid, sit there and vibrate with me. Come on. All right. So we're going to move on now. Let's say we warm up a little bit. We get a little bit of energy from the environment. This ice cube all of a sudden starts gaining some energy. What happens when it gains energy? It melts, yeah. So if it's going this way, we say that it's melting. And if we're going this way on the phases of matter, we call it freezing. OK, so if we go this way, we say something is melting. And if we go this way, we say something is freezing. Next up is a liquid. So let's say we have that same cookie jar, but now it's out on your kitchen counter. So what happens to that ice cube? It's going to melt inside the cookie jar. It's going to melt inside the cookie jar. Is it going to stay that same cube shape? No. No, no. no what's going to happen? It's going to liquefy. It's going to become a liquid. It's going to become a liquid. It's going to take the shape of its container. That's what a liquid does. That's one of the key things about liquids. Is it takes the shape of its container. Takes shape of <coughs> It's container. Okay, and now the liquid, instead of vibrating, the liquid's kind of more like a, like a dance instructor, okay? It takes the shape of the dance floor, it moves around on the dance floor, it's a dance instructor. It's going to move and flow past each other. I apologize for my horrendous accent, okay? So a liquid is going to move around a little bit more than a solid does, but it's still gonna stay in the dance floor. It's gonna stay in the shape of its container. So it flows. We're gonna say that this one flows. All right. Now, if the liquid gains energy, what happens? It turns into a gas. Turns into a gas. Yeah, it turns into a gas. And we call that what? Vaporization or, or evaporation? Let's go with vaporization. And what happens when a gas goes to a liquid? It's called uh, condensation. Condensation, yeah, good. Condensation. All right. So now we're to the gas phase. So, that same water in there, let's, let's say you put it on a stove now, it's still in the cookie jar, it's a Pyrex cookie jar, so it, it, can, it can withstand the heat. Yeah, Pyrex, let's go. Okay. So now it's in, it's over 
some flames. It, it gains even more energy now. So, what happens to that water? Um, the water starts to boil and it turns into a vapor. It turns into a gas now. And now the things about gas, is that a gas, unless the pressure is kind of weird or kind of strange, it's going to fill its container. It's going to equally fill up its container. So it's going to fill the container. And a gas is even more energetic than our dense instructor in the liquid phase. It's more like a five-year-old that's had too many pixie sticks, okay? <laughs> it's bouncing off the walls, the ceiling, the floor. It's going nuts. It's going everywhere, okay? That's what a gas is. They're going all over the place. So a gas is moving very fast. No, it's not moving the speed of light. Not that fast. All right. Finally, gas, once it gains even more energy, what happens? Huh? Becomes a plasma. Yeah, plasma. Now, plasma is really cool. And we call this ionization. Ionization. You'll learn about Z A T I O N. You'll learn about ions more when you get to chemistry in high school. So, a lot of that. Uh, a lot of that you'll learn more about that. And then also when a plasma goes into a gas, we call it recombination. You're probably not going to need to know that one for the test, so don't worry about it, but it'd be good to know. Recombination. Thank you. So now plasma the gas was like the five-year-old bouncing all over the place, all right? A plasma is like that five-year-old just like losing its mind and just boom, yeah. okay? A plasma, what happens in a plasma is that these electrons actually separate from the nucleus. So these electrons gain so much energy that they fly off. And now when I think of plasma, I think of lightning. Okay, now think of lightning and I also think of the sun because the sun contains lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of plasma. So in a plasma, uh, extremely high energy. and electrons separate from nucleus. Okay, now let me just check over here. I wanna make sure I didn't forget anything. So, these down here are the phases of matter. Now sometimes, these phases will skip phases, so to speak. Like, remember when we talked about dry ice, it goes straight from a solid to a gas, right? Yeah. Remember what that's called? Uh, What's that called? When it goes straight from a solid to a gas. H2O. Su sublimation. Sublimation, yeah. Sublimation. Okay. And now sometimes it'll go the other direction. It'll go straight from a gas back to a solid. And what do we call that? Reverse No. <laughs> nice try. Deposition. Deposition. Those are the only ones we're going to talk about for our purposes. But sublimation, think about dry ice going straight from a solid to a gas. That's sublimation. And we go straight from a gas to a solid. That's called deposition. Think about like the air molecules freezing to blades of grass on a really cold night. That's what happens there. So, just a quick review. All matter does what? Yes, it takes up it mass takes and up space. space. Has mass, takes up space. The nucleus of the atom is made up of two particles. What are they? Positive. 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 
protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons. And what's around the outside? Electrons. Electrons. The path the electrons travel is called the? Orbit. 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 Good. And then the four states of matter we're focusing on are? Solid, liquid, gas, plasma. You guys are awesome. Yay. Solid. What does a solid do? Everyone show me what a solid does. It kind of shakes. What's a liquid like? The dance instructor. You guys need to say it like that too. Go. Dance instructor. Good. And then a, a gas is like what? Five-year-old who's had too many pixie sticks. And then a plasma is when that five-year-old just kind of explodes and goes. Aah! That's when the electrons separate from the nucleus of the atom. All right. Good. Thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it.